Today we're going to remove the front disc brakes from a 2006 Honda Civic Si. All right, the first thing we're going to do is jack the car up. All right, once you have the car up, next thing you want to do is secure it with some jack stands. Safety is always number one. All right, the next thing we're going to do is remove the wheel. Shit is tight. All right. Now that we have access to our brake, next thing we're gonna do is remove these back bolts to hold the caliper together. All right. The next thing we're gonna do is use a 12 millimeter. I'm looking for the 12. Uh, were you at 12? Right there and I already went ahead and broke them loose so I'm just gonna undo them by hand this bottom one and the top one all right just grab the little bolts and put them in a safe location and we're gonna pull the caliper out and place it on top Ooh, these suckers look burnt <laughs> Damn. This one must have been uh, breaking pretty hard recently. <laughs> um, let me get these out. I had to bring out this fan because it's starting to get hot out here and there's a bunch of little bugs. I don't know if you can see them They're all over the freaking place. I gotta use this fan to throw them away. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and remove everything. You might need a fly head to get everything out. All right, once you have your shoe pass to the side, we're gonna remove the brake hardware as well. And the reason I'm doing all this is because we're gonna replace the hardware with a new hardware kit. And these push-in pins as well for the caliper, these caliper pins. We're gonna replace these little boots are old very old and we're gonna clean all these up and throw some caliper grease uh, top one as well so we're gonna be putting on brand new disc brakes and brand new hardware kit all right so now the next thing we got to do is remove the brake uh, bracket and we got to remove these bolts from here and let me see what size they are real quick all right it appears that it's going to be a 17 millimeter and I had to use a cheater bar to break them loose they're so dang tight but once you break them loose they should be able to come off by hand Yep, they are. All right, and we're just gonna put these screws down here as well. I'm gonna hold on to the bracket so I don't fall on my knee. Okay. There's the bracket. All right, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean these up with some brake cleaner and some Q-tips. But that would be for the next video of how to install it. All right, now we're gonna remove our spacer. And we gotta remove this Phillips head from there. It looks pretty beat up. Hopefully we're able to take it out. Oish, I don't even think I could put my teeth in there. 
beautiful. Blah. Man, that sucker's tight. And, oh gosh, you wanna be careful with this. I'm gonna probably need both hands so I don't mess up my threads. So let me take this off real quick. Okay, well I thought I was gonna come off, but it looks like we might need to take this nut off to remove this little hub here to release it. It looks like it wants to come out, but it don't. Oh, maybe. Uh, fuck it up. Ugh. You guys are watching it live. Oh, George Lopez fucks shit up. Shit. All right, after so many yanking and pulling, I was able to get it off. And there it is. Disc. It's off. I don't really care. I'm gonna replace these. That's why I'm just throwing them. All right, so it appears that's how you remove the disc brakes on a 2006 Honda Civic Si. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.